Good evening everybody, good day. Excuse the hair, I'm losing it so I'm saving it. I'm going to do a review of the It's all back to front, but the Canon 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 EOS M50 vlogger kit. I've already, I've already had it open and I've already uh, done some video of it already, but I've put it all back in the box, kind of. And at the moment, I'm actually filming off my iPhone, um, my iPhone 12, which today actually uh, proved to be really, really well while at work. Um, it actually fell out of my pocket from about, I don't know, 12 feet, 10, 12 feet. It's got no protector on it or nothing like that, and it is fine. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, so well done Apple for doing something right for a change instead of getting everybody to buy accessories and like you always do. Anyway, on to the review. Okay, so in the box, obviously there's going to be more boxes, which there are. First thing we'll bring out is the Joby Gorilla Pod. Now, for those who don't know what this is, it is basically a tripod that bends uh, as it shows in the pictures and grips on stuff. And it's used for cameras. As you can see, it grips on trees. And it is actually quite a lightweight uh, piece of equipment. I was quite surprised, really, at it. I thought it had been a lot bigger. Um, but it's actually, what's that? Just, just over my hand size. It's really lightweight, re it feels really good. It's definitely robust. Um, I mean, I've been using it now for, when did I get it? A couple of days ago. Uh, when it come with this kit and yeah it's it's really good it's definitely sturdy i've had one of the issues one of these um i think it's this one actually that keeps popping out yeah see one of these keeps popping out uh none of the ones do it oh I'll tell a light <coughs> well i mean that's no big issue it is definitely a good piece of kit uh for what you get i have priced it up as well um how much it would cost to buy individually. The camera alone, I found the cheapest and newest one is £649. Um, the Gorilla Pod I found, I think was about £60. Um, there are other ones, obviously, which are more expensive, the bigger and a bit bulkier. And then the Rode microphone, which I'll show you again in a minute. Um, yeah, I think I, uh, I think it was about 30 quid, 30 or 40 quid. So really, you are getting a good value for money considering all the stuff you get if you bought it individually. I think you save about 20 quid, so 20 quid here. 20. You also get a memory card and an extra battery. So in the long run, you are saving money. Okay, so the next thing we'll have a look at is the Rode microphone. This is fantastic. I mean, obviously you can hear the, the sound quality, which I'm using on my phone. And in a minute, we'll switch over to the camera and then you'll see the total difference. Because, I mean, don't get me wrong, the iPhone 12 is good. Uh, but, for I mean, it's, it's done me well so far for doing these some of these videos because that's what I've been using. Uh, and you can see that it's like little pixels and stuff because obviously they're low light. In a minute, you'll see the difference with the camera. But at the minute, because I'm doing this, I'm showing you what this is like. You'll have to put up with the iPhone for now. So, yeah, the Rode. Rode microphone with its clamp, um, really sturdy actually, the plastic on it is really good, obviously with its curly whirly connector for uh, to plug in into the camera, can't really, there's not much else I can say about that really is there, no there you go, okay now the camera, it's quite a small box really, 
Um, it's got a load of bits and bobs in it. I haven't got the charger yet because, I mean, a charger's a charger, so I'm not going to show the charger. And the battery. I'll show you the battery out of this one. Oh, I've got one. Oh, I've got it here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is a spare battery that comes with it, obviously, with its with the cap on it to stop it shorting out on anything. So, you know, it's quite invaluable. Really, they give you a spare one. Obviously, the lens for the camera. The lens is a... Uh, what is it? 15 to 45 millimeter image stabilizer. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Comes with its own strap for old people when they want to put it around the neck. I haven't done that yet because I'm not that old and I don't put it around my neck. So wait. Uh, it's good to keep the boxes. Okay, the camera itself. comes out like this it has this did have a uh, thing on it but I've obviously I've been using it so the, the covers are just over there next to the computer monitor and my cup of tea uh, it's a mirrorless camera as well so what I, I'm I thinking I'm really read the manual on it but what I'm led to believe what I'm thinking of the mirrorless camera is is when you look through the, the viewfinder you'd actually see what's coming out of the lens what I think this means is it's all done. It's actually a screen inside there, so you've got a, a, a digital screen as, as well as the LCD, LCD screen on the back here. I might be wrong. I probably am, but you know, built-in flash on the top. Uh, right, let's put the lens on. You'll, you'll notice on the lens and on the camera itself, the dot and the dot. And take the brains of a rocket science to work this out, does it? Dot to dot and twist clockwise. Yeah, clockwise. And that's it on. Obviously, the focus, it's got a lock on it as well. Before you use it, you have to unlock it. You'll see that it's just in line with that red, the, the white dot. Okay, uh, there you go. Now, once it's unlocked, that's the camera ready to go. Was in the cover. <laughs> okay. Uh, to place the battery on the bottom, you'll see like a knurled, not a knurled, well, it's got a little bit of a knurled in it. Pull it away, spring loaded, and it's got like a safe, like a cat, a safety catch, that's the military in me. It's got a catch there, locking latch, to hold the, uh, hold the battery in. Only going one way. Because it's got like a, a little knurl on it to stop you putting it in incorrectly. So that's me trying to put it in, it won't go in. So make sure the cannon writing of the battery is facing the front of the camera. And then it'll go in and it'll be locked in place by that locking catch. It comes with a memory card, 32 gig. And that's closing just behind where the battery is. And that just pushes in the spring loaded as well. And there we go, that's it locked up. Turn it on, on the top. I mean, do I really need to explain it? On and off, on, and then obviously you get the light. And what's it set now? Uh, automatic. So if I open the back up, there you go. Look at that. How weird is that? <gasps> and it also flips completely around so you can see. Yourself. I couldn't think of the bloody word then. Also, it locks around the back. So you've got that. Uh, obviously, on the top. Your selections for shooting modes. This is automatic focus, and then you've got video, manual, and all the rest of the governments. I haven't played with any of that because all I'm doing is recording. Simple to record yourself is that button there with the red button. You know, they say never touch the red button. Well, you will do. And obviously, this here, just take photos. And then, if we open that up, it might work. Ooh, yep, there we go. Flash works. 
I don't know if you can see the quality of the video. Uh, the foot. Uh, uh, no. well, there we go. I took some of the ceiling. I did take a couple yesterday. It doesn't really do us justice on here, like. But yeah, the quality of the camera is fantastic. So now we've got the camera on. We've got the gear out. We'll switch over now to this, so you can see the difference. No, we won't. First of all, we'll put it all together. So the Joby, um, I don't know what you want to call it, giraffe's neck, gorilla pod. On the bottom, you'll see there's a, a place for it to fit. It goes in and just turn. And then do it up. Also, you notice on the Joby thing, it's got like a, a locking latch here, obviously to move the camera up and down. Center it, oh, crikey. And this, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it actually. I mean, a lot of money, really, just for what you put. I say, well, I say a lot of money, but I mean, some of the cameras I saw 13, 1400 pound, and I can buy a nice motorbike for that because you're a silver one. Uh, right, the mic goes in on the top. The, it does have, let's see if I can find it here. I don't think I've got it around. It's not very good, is it? None, none of it's in place where it should be. No. Yeah, on the top, on the top of the camera, it doesn't have like a uh, and uh, I don't know what you'd call it. What would you call it? A blanking. Oh, there it is. So like a a blanking slide. To protect it because obviously when you put your camera on your, your, your light on there for professionals it'll you know yeah it goes off that thing there right as i was saying to put the road mic on slide it on the top push it fully forward and then you just and you know clockwise to do up the um the doofa doofa to secure it in place on the left hand side as if you're looking at it from the back. There is a mic port thing. I know Casey Neistat says, I've seen some busy, says to cut them off because, you know, what's the point of them? They're actually good because it stops the ingress of uh, dirt and sand and stuff. If you start getting that, you start using an external mic, it will dodge, make the uh, connection dodgy. So you always want to keep those on. They're there for a reason. If they weren't supposed to be there, they wouldn't put them on. Then obviously on the other side, um, you've got a connection for HDMI and the USB. And there's obviously a Wi-Fi connection, a Wi-Fi button there. I haven't used any of that. I'm not, I don't intend to, and there's other buttons here, which I, I don't know what they're for. So yeah, right, let's go switch to this camera now, and then you'll notice a difference. And here we are with the camera all set up, microphone on the Gorilla Pod. And all I've got for lighting wise is this light and the computer screen. That's all I'm using because I wouldn't put the big, big lights on, but then the birds will start kicking off and they're annoying when they get going. So, yeah, that's, that is the uh, Canon EOS M50 vlogger kit from Argos. Um, it's the only kit that I've seen that's available for, for, for I mean, 750 quid. Um, but like I said, you do get a lot for your money. You do get a lot for your money. You know, you get 650 quid camera, 50 quid mic. I think it's about 50 quid, 50 to 60 quid for the the gorilla. Oh, excuse me, gorilla pod thing what they call it I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's gorilla pod yeah gorilla pod joby gorilla pod but then you also get an extra battery and the 32 gig memory card so you are saving money i didn't take that into account when i actually added it all up i just put it as though it's all individual stuff so it is worth it um and this is now me vlogging on a pro proper i say pro proper camera professional ish camera um, 
Yeah, and I am pretty impressed. Um, time will tell, I guess, and how the, the, the videos go. Now I've got this. But that is my review of the kit. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell as well. Um, for when I upload videos. I think I might have to change the dynamic of it because I did say I was going to do it once to twice a week. But yeah, I've been seemingly doing it every day. Hey ho. And thanks for watching. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do what? I'll hit you. No, you won't.